Hello folks, welcome to back again. This is now part 27 of my Atlas Rising series and um, going to carry on with the uh, Overseer's quest now. It's grown. Um, which side is it on? <laughs> I remember, it's grown, see, so grab the... Good. There we go. I'm hoping at some stage it's going to give us the cuboid runes because I ain't got it yet. Did you enjoy your adventure, friend? Your expedition to find our orb? Yes, in the next room, mate. <laughs> I have waited for you faithfully. Yeah, I have as well. Longer than an hour, actually, but never mind. There is something about the way Specialist Ma speaks that, for all their kind words, suggests a resentment saved only for the deepest of enemies. But they would not have come to work here if we were enemies. Of course not. We are friends, really. The Overseer asks for the Gravitina orb so they can finish the landing pad design. Where's, where, when are we going to get this? I want the friggin' cuboid room. As ever, I am so grateful for your assistance, friend. What have we got to do to get the cuboid room? Oh, we need the weatherproof rubber for that. And lubricant. Okay, they've changed everything. Alt cells. The landing pads are, um, well, I don't know if that's harder to make with the weatherproof. Because I think the landing pad needed 10, that's right, the landing pad needed 10 circuit boards before, so they've changed that. Now what? Have you ever wondered what happens after death? Oh shit. Between expiration and rebirth, meditate upon annihilation. Harvest more diet from the dead. It is the only way to escape. <laughs> Since the overseer arrived, I have had a recurring dream. A nightmare that feels like a memory. Flash. Flesh merged with metal. A world of glass that blinks. A planet with green skies and an obsidian moon. A dream where I see my grave. As I snap back to reality, there is a moment before I can shake the image. That wound on the world lingering before my eyes. The overseer asked me to have more diet, harvest more diet, the material found in the bodies of slain creatures. Yeah, you little shit, you're gonna send me out to kill some innocents, weren't you? But I've already got some, you get it from flowers now. <laughs> the overseer has served me well. Perhaps their task will free my mind from these lingering nightmares. Hmm. Mission update. Planetary base construction. Yeah, go on. Gather more diet. 53 of 100. More diet is least when animals are killed. Yeah. Or can be grown in your base with the help of farmer. It's also on plants as well. There's a, um, the small little clumps of grass. Some of them give you more diet. And the big green clumps of grass give you copyright. So you don't have to kill the innocents, okay? <laughs> yeah, I've had to do that for missions, mine, but um, yeah, there you go. Um, let's have a look. I've got some somewhere. Where have I got some? I've got some somewhere else. Oh shit, did I put them up in the freighter? Um, 53, I'm sure I've got some in. somewhere in, uh, you know my unorganized <laughs> storage I think I've got some somewhere there we go I went to it the first time um, let's get how many did he want we'll get 250 go back return to the overseer please give me this all I want is the cuboid room so this could be the last thing they give us unless I've missed out on something I've got a bug I can see the change in you, friend. You have completed your task and I have seen the world as you see it, really. I do not entirely understand what I have done for the Overseer, but they seem once again ready to reward me for my actions. Give them all die. Here, take these schematics. Maybe, oh, please be in there. Maybe the things you build always remind you of those you kill to construct them. <laughs> you little shit. Oh, oh, yes, the one I was waiting for. Cool. And it's still a hundred, yeah, okay. That's what we were missing, guys, for the thing. For the base. Is that it then? That can't be it finished. I asked, friend, but you comply. Does that make you guilty? Does that make mark your hands with sin? Yeah, friend. Interloper, traveller, what, what are you? Don't you see it? Everything in these worlds is built for you. The history of blood, of malice. All of it happened so that you might find out about it one day. A backdrop for your journey, really. 
And there's a strange scent in the air again, a pheromone issuing forth. This time I live the memories of the Oasis as if they are my own. I see their life swept up away upon our first meeting, approaching them in a strange building with my weapon raised. They've certainly written a lot more lore, haven't they? I am filled with a terrible certainty that for this geck, millennia, millennia have passed since this event, but that is not possible. I never went to such a building. These things never happen. Um, touch the overseer gently, or what will I catch? <laughs> the geck does not react to my touch, and I do not let it linger. That's it finished, is it? Is that all the quest done? No more? Is going to give me the same? I will wait out my days here until I am be ah, until we repeat all this in the world beyond these worlds. As I mis repeat myself, even now. They always ask me to leave. They tell me they have nothing more to say. They are clearly addled, clearly confused. This space is a happy place. This world is mine, of that I am certain. The ravings of a single geck won't change that. <laughs> the overseer tells me that their contract is complete. Leave the overseer be. No, oh, cool. Their presence is unnerving, but I feel it better than the overseer remains here, where I can see them. Okay, they're all done. Double done. Let's just double check. <coughs> what I've decided to do, guys, is... Yes. Carry on with the Artemis um, quest line before I sort out my base. Bowl ball, eliminate... Uh, uh, return... Oh yeah, of course. I've got to give all these in. This keeps popping up and sending me to the same freighter. Um, secrets of the past. Destroy planetary depots. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. Safely forms. Track and scan planetary minerals. Uh, I haven't done any new ones yet. Build health modules. Oh. Uh, kill creatures. Locate creatures on our planet's surface. The baskets. Oh boy, and the same there. Right. This is what we're going to do now, guys. <coughs> I did prepare earlier. Yeah, I, made, I prepared earlier, he said. Um, what I did was I've um, got the stuff ready. I've got um, glass ready. They've changed that. You can't make the glass now. You didn't have to. If it's something that needed glass, you had to. You could um, didn't have to make the actual glass as long as you had the phosphor, which is now uh, which was. Um, what was it called before? No, I've forgotten already, for Christ's sake. But <coughs> you, all you had to do was have that in your inventory and you could make it. But now you have to actually make the glass. It won't make it. I tried. I need to make living glass. And to make living glass, you need one glass and one lubricant. The tick wouldn't come until I actually made the glass. And I still had the frost crystal in my um, inventory. So <coughs> we make living glass and... Wants one living grass. And what else? What else did he want? I forgot what else he wanted. In. Where is it? Where is it? Living grass. Oh, and one circuit board. Shit, I didn't make the circuit board. What do I need? I've forgotten what I needed for the circuit board. <laughs> um. Oh shit. Heat capacitor. That's that one, isn't it? What does that need now? Oh, selenium. Oh, I've got some of that somewhere. Where? But the trouble is where? <laughs> Alright, where are you? Where are you? Lost already. There we go. Yeah. Sorry guys, I just never remember where I put it. Because this is not organised as I normally have it. And I'll just put it straight down. I hope I've got enough. Yeah, I've got enough. Won't need all that, but... <coughs> what else was it? Oh, we can make that. So we want one of them. Cool. And um, what was the other thing? Um, where are you? Uh, oh, here's yeah, circuit board. What do I need for a circuit board? Please let me have something for the circuit board. Oh, we yeah, have polyfiber. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> um, oh, good. I've got cactus flash. I've got star bulb. I put them away, didn't I? It needed 200, was it 200? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, 200. Now where did I put them? Where did I put them? Um, 
It's not in one of these, is it? No. Don't think it's in this one, but double check. No. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's try that again. One of those. Oh, circuit board. One of those. There we go. Got it. Done. Right. Uh, a strange piece of technology, a gift from beyond the stars. It shimmers in way. It, sh it shimmers in a way. It should be in a way that suggests it is not fully in this world. <clears throat> only cost one. Only well, it's not very um, valuable, is it? One thousand units. Right. Let's sort out my inventory again. Get rid of the shit. Um. Let's put some stuff away. Let's put those away again. Um. Where was the other one? Was it in here? So we got some room. Let's put that in there. I don't know what to expect with the Artemis quest. Whether we'll need any stuff. Um, I suppose I'll keep what I think we should need. Is that one? Oh! I did put that all away, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Nothing in there. I know I had c put a cop right in here. Did I have any on me? Yes, there. Put them all that away. Where did these two come from? Um, no, I don't put anything in there. That's full up anyway. <coughs> um, no, nothing there. What? Was it down the end? Ah, there we go. Put them in there. I'll put the selenium in there for now. <coughs> that gives us a little space. Right, now. I haven't got a clue what to do on this um, Artemis quest. Let's get it up. Bring the mine up to Artemis. Use the base teleport to it. Oh, what's that? The mine come out. Uh, yeah, I've encountered. Mm, yeah, what? I don't to Yeah, I've encountered. Uh, use the base level to return to the system where you left Artemis. Oh yeah. Um, which system was it? I wrote it down. Let's have a look. Um, which one was it in? Uh, where was he? Where was he? can't remember that. I'm sure I wrote it down. Oh, I named it, didn't I? Um, the Kupo, Kupo, Kukopa system. The Kukopa system. Kukopa. Kukopa. Where is it? 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 Teleporter. Yeah, yeah. Kukopa. <coughs> Tune to Artemis. Tune to... Oh, you can do a bow play. Oh, it's good. How come I've got both of those on there? Shit, I've lost one. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, that's cool that they put it on there. So, here we go. I've not looked at any information on this Artemis quest, so... Um, I have no clue what's going on, to be honest. Other than that, I remember leaving the green marker there, so that's where we got to go. Hollow terminus detected. Are you going to send us somewhere different? Oh, I should have done a save. Too late now. Oh yeah, it's a different spot, look. Well, that's not very nice, enough. I went to all the trolls to put a marker down, you little sods. 
Oh, we got enough iron. Yeah, I'll do. Right, some selenium on the ship, look. Forgot all about that. Not that it matters much. I'm trying to keep the ship empty of uh, modules at the moment until I've built my base and sorted everything out. Um, so I can stack the ship with stuff when I want to sell it. We'll see. I don't know um, how yet I'm going to make the best money. We'll see. It'll come to us eventually. Mm, better doing this upside down. One minute, come on, I want to get there quick. Please. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, uh, seven again. Come on. We're on top of it now. Cool. These towers do look cool, don't they? down. Flourishing planet, temperate, low security, common, intermittent. Oh, this is cool. Come on Artemis, what are we going to do now? Grab a look around. It's a waste of time. So that's another one over there, isn't it? Well, I've got the terminal. Hollow terminals activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transfer year designed to facilitate a uh, tune to Artemis. Signal match detected. Go on in. There are no incoming calls currently registered as a hollow terminus. Huh? Logs from the previous call are available. Access logs. Oh, this is a bit weird. What's going on here? Gra gra. Uh oh, oh. Loading our rake. Away up. Mula. Mudal. Akurek. Picky. Viking. Zayaling. Anway up. Geku. Bidun. Oh shit. What's going on here? The first traveller, bring, bring the mine to Artemis. Well, I'm doing that. Um, oh, no incoming call, regret. Oh shit, what's going on here? Hmm. Is it sending this somewhere else? It's not, is it? It's you see, that's... Bring my mind... Oh, we've got to find him or what? Oh, this is confusing now. Bring the mind to Arnold's fine artist at the hollow terminal. Well, I'm, you know... He ain't here, is he? I ain't got a clue what to do now. Oh, animal. Six of nines. Oh, you were scanned some the first time I came here, didn't you? Oh shit, I ain't got a clue what to do now. That keeps pointing us. That's... Wait a minute. Yeah, I oh, know, I see the... Uh, it's not... Is it that one? When I've got the green star, let's have a look. <coughs> because... If I take that out of view... Watch, watch, watch. I hope that's going to go. Yeah, it's got to be back to the green one. Why didn't it let me go there first? 27, 20. Oh, we've got his face. Yeah, it's got to be that one. <coughs> Is this going to send me backwards and forwards? Hmm. <coughs> 
<coughs> Come on, get out. Right. Thirteen. Oh, get up a bit more. Come on. I'll do. It. Yeah, I named the planet, didn't I? <laughs> to that. Which is a bit weird, sending me from one to another. Say la vie, such is life. Oh, that, um, yeah, see my marker there? Here we go, come on, up, 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 up. Torch on. Don't trip over on the steps in the dark. <laughs> uh, up we go. Please be there this time, don't let's send me somewhere else. Oh, he's here, look. Cool. Why then did it send me to the other one? I really think it's cool, though. I really like their look. That's us, though. We're the travellers, so we look like this, I reckon. <laughs> Zit. Come. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, you stupid boy. Use a mind art. Use the mind arc. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury. Some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flash. Restore to life before my eyes. Well that ain't happening is it? But it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram and next there is nothing. Oh here we go. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. Their signal still active. Oh, where is he? Oh, here he is. Oh, it's null, isn't it? It's still on null again. Woo! What's going on here? <laughs> oh, so we can have one, two, three... Like a conference, a hollow conference, eh? Okay. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> the travellers were a dream, an idea that we would meet and become more than ourselves. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo too. Though they would conceal it, even I had this dream long ago. There are more of us than you know, my friend. Walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass, or the aerons, or the progenitors, oh, I can't say that. It is that final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveller. Your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Oh shit, now we've got to go out again, have we? Objected, updated, first traveller. First traveller, answer may be found in the stars. Okay. Here we go again. Whee! Ah, plop. Let's do a save while we can. Did I actually save this? Yeah, life support 75. Okay. Let's grab some of these. Oh, 24 minutes in, let's get on with it, shall we? Um, where's my ship? Oh, there we go. Come on, Tango, let's get out again. I'm oh, reading well, that should be a little bit lower still. We're still not seating properly in the cockpit. That should be slightly lower than that. Right, let's go. See what transpires. 
Oh, I wonder if we got a warp somewhere. I have got a cool uh, full warp thing, but that means more. Oh, I hate it that I can't see them. This is we're seated a bit too far forward in this cockpit. Hello, stranger. Who goes there? We are heading for your position. Identify yourself, or there will be consequences. We aren't bluffing. We are not liar, Gek. <laughs> It takes me a moment to realise who I am speaking to. This alien, I have met them before. They are specialist Polo, the partner. Oh, really? Oh, it is him as well, isn't it? I can't bloody see him. That's a problem. Um, they are specialist Polo, the partner of the Corvax priest entity Nada. They are my friends, stewards of an anomalous station located outside of time and space. Identify yourself. I identify myself causing Polo to squint at their communicator screen in surprise. They clapped their hands, recognising me with joy. A signal drew them to the system. Although they had expected its source to be hostile, they are pleased to see a familiar face, telling me that their station is inbound to my location and should be with me soon. Oh, the anomaly is coming here. First challenge is out amongst the Polo. Go on. Yeah. What next? Space anomaly are detected. And board the space anomaly. Where are you, girl? Where are you? Oh, this music's cool. I used to play Eve Online a lot years ago. Played it for three years, and a lot of the music really reminds me of it. There she blows. This music, especially. Oh, look at that view. Isn't it? It's cool. So, that's so cool. That music. Ah. Brilliant. Hmm, interesting. Oh, it sends me to Nada. Polo told me we were expecting you, traveller friend. How are you? Are you hungry? Um, yeah, saying that, I'm a bit actually. <laughs> this is customary greeting for old friend, yes? Nada is pleased to see me again, if somewhat confused. They explained they received a signal summoning them to this system. On a frequency they had previously reserved for each other. They do not understand how I did this. Tell Nada about your journey. I tell Nada about the other travellers I have encountered. I tell them that I went through a portal to find and rescue one of them. A friend named Artemis. At the mention of the portal the lights on Nada's mask begin to stutter. Oh dear. What did traveller friends say? Um, repeat portal. I explained that I activated a portal and went through. Nada appears terrified, oh dear. What did Traveller Friend encounter within the breach? Did it see you? Did the Atlas find you? Please, you must not go back. Nada becomes more frightened as I tell them about my encounter with the Atlas terminal. They begin to scan me with their visor, looking for signs of something called rampancy. Eventually, satirised by their scan, Nada calms down. They ask why I have come here. Tell Nada about Artemis. I tell Nada that I carry the remains of a traveller named Artemis, an explorer who lost their life attempting to find others of their kind. I am about to explain the nature of the mind arc when Nada touches it directly. The lights on their masks burning more brightly than ever. It is Echo. I I never thought to see a traveller's soul. You are so beautiful. Artemis, Echo is in pain, disconnected. Traveller, we can help them, but there is a choice. Artemis, Echo will never have body again, will never explore again, old life gone. 
you must choose upload them to machine to sub simulation where they may live on or help Artemis Echo end suffering ask about the oh I wonder if that's that simulation in the room next door where you can put him in ask about the simulation ask if there is another way so you have decided um hmm where they may live on well, I'd like him to live on ask about the simulation <clears throat> I asked what life would be like inside of this simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would, f still feel, would still feel joy at the things they experience, but if they should learn of their fate that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends, such knowledge may cause, cause them great pain. Oh, okay. You must choose. Upload them to machine to sub-simulation where they may live on or help Artemis Echo in suffering. Um, is there another way? Nada shakes her head strangely trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated if disconcerting. Oh you've got to choose then. You must choose. Upload them to machines to sub-simulation where they may live on or help Artemis Echo in suffering. Um, well, yeah, in suffering, I would think. I don't know, it's... Uh, yeah, do the in suffering one. Go and speak with Polo Traveller. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter what your decision. Leave. Okay, this is cool. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are Traveller, friend. Well, thank you, Nada. Albeit you still gave me shit in the past. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that, guys. What's here? Anything decent? Before we... Oh, go away, you stupid gun. Oh, that's what that room is for then. Don't you reckon? To this is what this is for. To pop Artemis in here. His soul in there. No, I don't think he would like that. Because it's like I said. That's what dissuaded me from doing that. Because uh, if he discovered he was in there, he would be really pissed off. Because he wants to find another friend, doesn't he? <coughs> well, that's the way I'm looking at it anyway. Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you, no matter your, no matter the choice. The anomaly has many rooms and many secrets. One of these is open to me. A, do a dormant machine now activated. Ah, please. Oh, that's that room's got to go. Oh, okay. Is this this one or the other, the one we just went into? Well, which is the one we went into, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, is this where you make the choice? Callback simulation terminal. Priest entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation five activated. Hmm. The machine is ancient and powerful. A relic of a world long since destroyed. As I stand before it, Nada tells me of its origin, how a thousand entities died rescuing it from the obliteration of Corvax Prime. It is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered to the Atlas. Nada will not explain how a simulation would act as a prayer, but this machine, this single false solar system, it will act as a home, <coughs> a home for Artemis, should I wish it. Um, I don't know what to do here. No, I think pff, allow Artemis to die. Because if he found out that, no, that's the way I'm looking at it. So you've got to make a choice, isn't you? And that's the choice I'm going to make. Yeah, don't know if it's the wrong one. I don't know if that's a right or wrong one, but this is what I'm going to do. I tell Nada of my choice. They take the mind arc and begin to manipulate the device with their silicon fingers. The lights on their visor dancing as they move. Soon the priest and entity is ready. They whisper a prayer as they twist the midpoint of the ark, releasing the traveller soul within. I witness a spark of blue light blaze within the air before me. Is this the end of the Artemis question? It fades after a moment and with it the last moment of Artemis within this world. Nada tells me that it is done. Artemis is at peace now. They wish me luck in my journey telling me not to dwell on these moments. 
They tell me that I did the right thing. Really. Is that it? I might look at what the other one is. The first guy speaks to Noel. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see what Noel says. No, if that's all there was here, I'd like to see the other choice. Um, speak to Noel. Let's go back to Noel. How am I going to do this? Because um, it's going to pop the save down, isn't it? Hmm. What's the time limit? 35. Um, okay, guys. What I'm going to do, because it's 35 minutes since I didn't realise that, because I was so embellished in the in the, in this quest line. Um, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to do a backup save and see what the result is on this one and maybe do it the other half and see, see both stories if you see what I mean. So I thank you very much if you got this far and I will catch you in the next one where we will carry on with this current quest line as it is now. So see you soon.